Here we go again guys, some more leaks to talk about as always. Is it me or does this happen super often lately? Like a lot more than for say a year ago. I'd say it is because of the newly found popularity of gaming in the mainstream world in general. Thanks to the rise of Battle Royale and such, more people are now common to gaming rumors, leaks and so on. Some are definitely made up to create hype of course, but not the ones from today. These might definitely be real and come from either the game developer themselves themselves or known industry insiders. So as you know, Sony's highly anticipated reveal event for PlayStation 5 games and third party games is coming up. It is said to be one of the biggest event of the summer. The official PlayStation account dropped a video on May 29, officially announcing the event, which will be taking place on June 4th. Now don't ask me why, but there's a low chance it'll be delayed due to the protests happening in the United States right now, which is kind of weird if you ask me. The world could use a little escape out of this madness, but hey, let's give all of our attention to something that's feeling so negative, and is also fueled by the media to keep destroying our cities and to keep us divided. Black or white, it never mattered to me because I'm not racist, and there's plenty that feel the same, most importantly the people not living in the United States. It shouldn't interrupt a digital event, because you know, it's digital. But like I said, there's a very very low chance it'll be delayed, since the event is so big and PlayStation is already running ads for it on TV, so it's all good. Before we start with the leaks, I've heard a report that the Star Wars Project Maverick, set to be announced tomorrow on June 2nd, might have been delayed because of that, but only time will tell. Keep in mind a lot of games will be revealed at the PS5 event, and the ones I'm talking about today are just those who have been leaked. Now let's get into the gaming leaks that have just appeared online and sounds very exciting. First off with Horizon Zero Dawn 2, 99% confirmed to be at the PS5 event. Horizon Zero Dawn was one of Sony's most notable successes this generation, with a beautiful open world and tons of robots creatures to fight. Rumors have been swirling for a while now that a sequel, perhaps even an entire trilogy of sequels, is in the works at Guerrilla Games, and already far in development. Well, we may not have to wait long for our glimpse at Horizon Zero Dawn 2, as some suspicious tweets from Guerrilla devs hint the game may be shown at Sony's upcoming PlayStation 5 Digital Showcase, which again is on June 4th. A little bit later, after the announcement of the PS5 event, both Horizon Zero Dawn Quest designer Blake Rebush and Guerrilla lead animator Richard Hood urged fans to tune into the show. As you can see in these tweets, the picture was taken seconds after it was posted, and how lucky are we? The tweets from both developers were deleted right after, because it basically teased the appearance of a new Horizon Zero Dawn at this event. It might actually have been the intention from the developer or just a simple but huge mistake. The fact they deleted the tweet right after speaks volume and it's not a random tweet. There'd be no particular reason to delete the tweets if Guerrilla wasn't bringing something to the show. Of course, take this all with a grain of salt for now, but it definitely feels like the return of Aloy is imminent and I'm all for it. With the Unreal Engine 5 demo on PS5 that just came out, I can imagine Horizon Zero Dawn 2 being similar in a way and it is so exciting. The vegetation, the characters, the fauna, there's a lot of potential. Sony wouldn't want to miss on an exclusive like this, it is sure to be successful. I cannot wait to see our reveal. Let me know if you're excited for it. Next up we have the reveal of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, a complete reboot of the Black Ops series with returning characters and a darker tone, taking place in both Vietnam and the Cold War. Activision typically reveals the next Call of Duty game in May or June each year, and so the announcement for Call of Duty 2020 should be any day now. A specific reveal date for Call of Duty Cold War has yet to be announced, but a prominent Call of Duty franchise leaker has teased that it could very well be taking place at Sony's upcoming PlayStation 5 game showcase. Tom Anderson, a frequent leaker of the Call of Duty series, has suggested that the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War reveal could be taking place at the event on June 4th. This would make sense for a couple of reasons. For one, the reveal of Call of Duty 2020 would get its much needed attention from the PS5 game showcase. 
even more than it is already getting, as the Call of Duty games are pretty consistently the top selling games each year. And secondly, Sony already has a partnership with Activision when it comes to Call of Duty, with the PS4 enjoying timed exclusivity for Call of Duty content all the time. Assuming this partnership is still going on with the PlayStation 5, then Activision is no doubt going to reveal this new game at the event. From recent leaks, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is set to include some fan favorite multiplayer maps from the original Black Ops game as a result, like Firing Range and Nuketown. One thing to note is Activision has always teased the new Call of Duty in May, and that didn't happen, so this beginning of June is even more likely. Stay tuned for that. Next up we have Silent Hill, with rumors seeming to telegraph the franchise return for a while now, it seems many are expecting big things from Silent Hill in the near future. Not only has Konami been quite vocal in admitting that it wants to bring back the dormant horror IP, but several Silent Hill rumors have claimed that the title is well on its way to returning, both in the form of a standard sequel and a choice-based adventure game similar to that of Telltale's The Walking Dead for example. It seems more evidence supporting the return of the franchise has just come out from non-leaker Aesthetic Gamer, who leak Resident Evil 8 setting and story, and claims that if the stories surrounding Japan Studio developing the next game in the franchise are true, it should be unveiled very soon. To be precise, Aesthetic Gamer cites that the title will likely be revealed at either PlayStation 4's June event or in August, claiming that it should be the fourth as the team is excited to reveal it. He also goes on to clarify the new rumor surrounding the title, claiming the game is PS5 exclusive and it's in a playable state. According to him, the only reason PlayStation wouldn't show it is if it's not a launch game. The guy has been pretty vocal in the recent weeks and months for both Silent Hill and the upcoming Resident Evil 8. As he said in a tweet, Silent Hill should be on June 4th, while Resident Evil 8 a bit later in the month or in August. He claimed this 8th game in the series will have armored zombies, a castle siege sequence with a witch that laughs and wants to kill you. It's also said to be the darkest and most gruesome game in the franchise. It'll have werewolves, it's a first person game and will also have the return of Ethan from the 7th one. Alright guys, if you are ready for this event, make sure you drop a like on this video and as always, subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks to Jigglyboy and I am Legend for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for 99 cents only. It'll help me and the channel as a whole. Thanks for watching.